Hello, I'm Alani Dodu. I'm currently a student at Andrew P. Hill High School. I'm here at San Jose Library with Melody. Melody, today I'm going to ask you some questions. The first question is, first tell us your job title and what you do. My job title is, well, hello, thank you for having me here. My, my job title is a mental health peer support worker with Behavioral Health Services. I work in a program called uh, Cultural Communities Wellness Program and we help people get connected to appropriate services. We create our own uh, culturally appropriate events so that we can pass out uh, county information as well as community-based information. And we do a lot of trainings, uh, mental health education trainings, um, individual service and, and family um, services support or support and what else do we do? We attend a lot of meetings. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, what skills like training did you need to have when you applied? Wow, well, I think it was a culmination of my life experiences. Also, in order to get the job, I had to have um, experience, life experience within mental health. So that was like a, a prerequisite. But outside of that, I worked for, um, I worked with children for like 20 years. And so I draw a lot <laughs> on the skills that I learned as a, in becoming a teacher um, to do the work that I do now. And I, I'm a very spiritual person. And so I use a lot of my faith to help me do the work that I do. Um, yeah. <laughs> Next question. Can you walk me through a typical day of life being a mental health peer support worker? I wish I could, <laughs> but it's not typical. Um, the work that we do, so in, within my division, I have um, three different programs and we're all peer support workers, but we all have different functions. So there's the Office of Family Affairs and they work with and support families of uh, family members of consumers. And then there's the Office of um, Consumer Affairs and they work with consumers directly. And then my program, Cultural Communities Wellness Program, we're out in community. And so we represent like seven different um, ethnicities and we cater to those, although we, we help anybody that comes to us for support. But um, typically, well, like yesterday, I did an outreach event um, in, in the community. Um, so we had a table and we, we shared information. People that came to us with some um, issues or concerns, then we try to support them as best we can and give them resources. Other days, I might be spending eight hours doing a training. Um, mental health, I do mental health first aid. Um, I do QPR, I do rap, <laughs> and, and client culture, and trauma-informed uh, systems. So, you know, that, that could be something that we do, but it, uh, we, I, I mentioned, I'm sorry, I'm getting nervous, <laughs> but I mentioned earlier that um, we create our own events. So this, we're coming up on February. This is Black History Month, so it's a big time for our community. So I'm having to create events for us to do and then decorate our, um, our office area. Uh, and then and sharing that space with the Asian community because it's Lunar New Year, the yeah. same the same month. So there's it could be a lot going on. Day. Yeah, a typical day is so typical. <laughs> it's not very <laughs> typical, right? Yeah, I can do that. Um, the next question: um, What's the most rewarding part of your job that keeps you coming back every day? I'd have to say the. Well, the most rewarding part for me is facilitation. I, I didn't know that I liked it so much, but um, I found that after I got into it, I love it. And I think one of the things that I love most about it is because it's very similar to the rewards that I got as a um, preschool teacher. I love it when people um, 
when things come together for them, mm -hmm. a, a light comes on in their eyes or something, you know? And when I see that in people that I'm working with, that just feeds my soul, so I love that. That's but great. what keeps me coming back is the flexibility of the job because mm -hmm. there's so much going on. I don't have time to get bored. Um, yeah. yeah, so it's, like I said, we don't have quote unquote typical days. That's what keeps me coming always. back. <laughs> You're just always doing something, girl worker. Now. Yeah. Um, what made you pursue a career in this field? Um, it, it was actually kind of life experience. It wasn't something that came to, you know, that I said, this is what I want to do. Um, I really didn't think that I could do it initially. I worked in a real estate office at the time and my broker was very involved in her church and they were writing a, um, grant for the position to, cause it was, uh, something that the county had written a funding request for mm -hmm. and I said I, I can't do that mm -hmm. and she said well don't you talk to your parents and and the the children you know and especially when there's issues don't you do parent teacher conferences I go yeah she said well it's the same thing <laughs> so I was like oh, okay I, I tried it and it was very close very similar so and like I said, the flexibility of it, so it just kept me there, so. I like that. Um, one last question. Um, what would you get, advice would you give to your younger self? My younger self. Um, it would be along the lines of encouragement. I think I would, I would tell myself, stick with it. Believe in what you have. Uh, your own skill set. I, like I said, I have a higher power. Believe in the God working in you. Mm -hmm. Everything's going to be okay. Don't give up. That's very inspirational. That's a very inspiring thing to tell your younger self. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, I have one more request. Would you be willing to do a TikTok move with me? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'm, I'm open to try anything. It goes like this. It is what it is, what it is, what it is.